Hey guys, welcome to the video by DJ's PRC. We have a Mini 8 from right here in front of me. And what we're going to install is carbon fiber shock tower, shock tower, front and rear. And let's get started. You don't need to remove the wheels on it if you don't want to. Uh, if it's going to make your situation easier on you, you can. But basically, I'm trying to remove the strict minimum of this vehicle. One of the first thing I want to remove is the nut of the shock. I'm not going to remove the shock right away. That's one of the things I'm going to do. I'm going to pop the balls. Sometimes they're a little bit tricky to remove. Now I'm going to remove the shock to flip them on the side. And unscrew the shock spacer. And remember where the screw was in it because you physically need to put it back in the correct hole of the shock tower itself. The difference between this one is because there's multiple holes. Now what I'm going to do, grab it and put it where it needs to be. Just easier to do it now. That way you can't forget. Now, if you don't want to put it back where it was, you can. You can basically exp do some experiments with it and put the adjustment you want. But for the moment on this vehicle, the way it is, it's fine. Now we're going to remove the bolt that holds the body posts. I'm going to put that right here. This guy is only one place. There we go. Now, what I'm doing right now, you don't need to do it right away. You could do it at the end once you removed everything. Sometimes I prefer doing it this way because I don't forget to put something back. It happened once in a while that I was uh, rebuilding the vehicle and I'm like, oh, I forgot to put this part. Now I had to dismantle the vehicle again and restart. Now I'm going to remove the bumper brace. I'm not going to remove the bumper. Bumper is going to stay there right, right where it is. Now in between the bumper and the physical front diff case, there's two more bolts on each side. A little bit trick here to go grab. Grab my long nose here. Remove the screw. And I'm going to do the other side. Now once this is removed, we'll have two more screws to remove. Put these guys aside. Come on. Put these guys aside. Now we have the ball ends to remove. Grab a screwdriver. And our nut driver. Insert it. And I'll screw it. Again, you don't need to put it back where it was. You just need to remember 
where it was, should I say, but you don't need to put it back where she was. If you want to do some experiment with it, you can. Now this guy's a little bit harder to put in. The hole's not exactly the same size. What I want to do is put it in, back it off, put it in, back it off to be able to make the thread. And there we go. As if you try to put it in in first shot without kind of uh, drilling the thread or making the thread, you're going to bust up your carbon fiber. Take the nut out. Do the other side. Uh, yeah. And this side's way easier. back in grab your vehicle lower this guy back grab your screws and screw it back in When it wants to let go. Now bolt back the front bumper. side put our shocks back in grab our nuts tighten our nuts And pop the balls back. Sometimes putting these balls are a little bit tricky. You can use a pair of pliers if you want to. I just push them. And this is the front. Stay tuned for the back. If you guys have any comments uh, or questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and thanks guys.